Well, hello, my friends. It's Sean Petit, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this winter fun. Yay. Here are the supplies that we'll be using today, including new stencils. The winter stencil release is happening today. So I'm working on an 11 by 18 MDF board. So this is a large piece. And I've got some vintage papers um, out here that I'm putting down and those are part of a collage pack and they will be listed on the blog um, if you're interested in those. <clears throat> but I'm putting everything down with my Liquitex matte medium. And I'm using a variety of paints. So I've got a bunch of Arteza paints out. I've got my Lucas paints. And I am mixing everything. So there's not a specific color that I'm using. I will give you an idea. I'm just showing you here now that I, everything is mixed with gesso. So I put that first layer down of watered down gesso. And now I'm just coming back in and it's still wet. And I'm just kind of mixing cold gray, different grays. Um, some gesso, some sky blue, I mean a variety. I'm just kind of finding what feels right and kind of the style that I was looking for. And so um, creating kind of a winter sky. I just, I wanted it to be, ha you know how it kind of feels cold and gray, um, but with a little bit of life. So um, just putting my colors down and mixing everything together, adding a little bit more gesso in there to give the resemblance of some clouds in the background and I've got my landscape here separated and I've got my hills and that kind of thing and really that's just to kind of give me a start to give me an idea to get a feel for where I want to go because it does change once you put the, the barn in and the trees and all that um, but just trying to get the ground here now with my palette knife um, getting that kind of feel of this snowy landscape. Some of the ground peeks through, some of it's been walked on, that kind of thing. Just kind of really getting a feel for um, that. And I'm not really even thinking too much yet of where the barn's gonna go until I get some of those trees in the background. But just trying to get some kind of snowy landscape happening. So now I'm thinking, okay, I've got my barn stencil, where, where are things gonna go? I start thinking about that. And I want the trees to be behind the barn kind of coming out. So I'm going back and forth, making sure that I have that. And again, as I stencil the trees in, and this is the new um, trees stencil, I'm using probably four different greens mixed together. So olive green, a light green, green gold, a, I mean just a variety. And I want that color in there because I don't want the trees to look flat. So I mix the colors right on my sponge as I put those trees down. Overlapping the trees and everything. So now I'm just using some carbon black and um, getting my outline. And that's what I, that's how I design a lot of my stencils is to give you the, it as a guide. So this is your guide for your barn, and it's basically you get the outline and then you are able to paint it in however you want. And I love that because it saves so much time. <clears throat> so I'm using Alzerian Crimson Hue. This is a Lucas paint. I, I, really, honestly, it's a Lucas paint and a mix of Arteza. Um, so I will do my best to list the colors that I use, but um, really you could use what you have. Um, I'm just mixing all of the colors together to get what I'm looking for. My paint wasn't quite dry. I was so excited. <laughs> my paint wasn't quite dry, and so my black outlines kind of faded away a little bit, but that's okay. I loved how it looked. And um, I love that I can go right over the lines and still have my outline um, there and visible. And I'm painting it in and wiping it back because I really want it to be faded. I want it to be a really old looking barn. Um, I still need good coverage, so I had to do a couple of layers to kind of block out the back, the background that's in the back and that kind of thing. Um, so I did a couple of layers and then just kept wiping it back until I felt like it was right. And then um, filled in windows and doors um, <clears throat> with some gesso and then some Van Dyke Brown and some beige or Titan Buff. 
lots of color mixing today. <laughs> and again, I'm pulling the color back and I can still see my outline of my barn, um, which helps me define everything. But just kind of filling everything in and getting the color in so that I can really add the pizzazz and the detail and the grungy goodness. <clears throat> so I wanted the the ground now that's in front of the barn to look walked on and worn down and kind of piled up against the sides of the barn so and, and up against the trees so that so when the snow blows and that kind of thing, it kind of drifts up against the trees. I wanted that kind of look as well. So I'm just kind of filling in the space down there to get that, that feel. And for my white, I am using gesso. So all of my white is gesso. And I've got my palette knife out and I'm just gonna go to town on some grungy, grungy goodness. Um, just using my palette knife and um, not being too particular. That's the one thing about this kind of style of painting. You can't be too particular. Things are gonna go over lines and that's okay. I love that look and that feel. So again, I'm just using gesso and going to really kind of grunge things up. The barn, the trees, all of that with my palette knife. So now I'm coming back in with the black and the edge of my palette knife to outline everything and bring all of those lines and definition back. And of course I'm going to come back in and shade, but I love using the edge of my palette knife to just get this really grungy, unexpected feel. And I, I just love it. I'm adding some of that grunge in the sky because it resembles some snow falling, some white clouds, and again using gesso and my palette knife. Adding the snow, adding the magic, adding the winter to the barn and all the ledges and different things like that, that snow might happen to catch on.
I realized I'd forgotten the ledge up there above the barn doors, so I filled that in. So now that I've got my snow on all my ledges, I'm just going to add my wreaths. And this is a mixture, again, of the same greens that I used in the trees and just a bunch of dots and things like that all the way around in the circle for my wreaths. Now that I've got my wreaths in, I'm going to let them dry before I actually add the berries and I'm going to shade everything, everything, all the edges. Even though I've got a lot of black around there, you can still add some depth and dimension, add the window panes, different things like that. So I'm going to shade all the way around the bottoms, the edges, some of the trees, all of that, all the way around with my General's Charcoal Pencil. Now that the wreaths are dry, I'm adding my berries and um, just using a mixture of the reds from the barn. And now I want to add just a tiny bit of shading and color with my pastels for the sky, add a little bit of depth and dimension. And that's it, my friends. Super easy, super fun. Stick around for the conversation at the end. I'm sharing all of the projects that I've done so far with the new stencils and um, sharing all about those. And um, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, subscribe and like and check out all the new stencils. And I will see you next week. All right, loves, so here she is. Ah, oh, I love this. Love doing barns, winter barns. Oh my gosh. So um, the papers are part of oh, the collage pack and all of the things, the, the collage packs will be listed on the blog. And then of course, these are the new stencils that are released today, the day you watch them. Um, the barn, the big barn and the trees will be on sale. Um, so I hope you can grab some and um, get your Christmas on. <laughs> um, I'm doing this a few several weeks before you're actually going to see this so it feels like Christmas has been going on for a long time because I myself am getting ready getting my Christmas inventory ready so I've been doing Christmas stuff for a long time. Um, 
so the, uh, this inspiration, and I have nothing deep and meaningful for you except to just introduce the new winter release stencils. Um, that's what inspired this, the new uh, stencil release. So I am just going to show you real quick. And I, what I want to say, too, is that um, I, all week long, so starting tomorrow, Monday, when um, this is, you'll see this on Sunday, the week after this video, I will be doing um, small videos throughout the week showing you um, Christmas projects. And I've got some samples I'm going to show you right now. But let me just show you. So this is the um, uh, berries and holly stencil. And this one I think is actually probably one of my favorites. And I've got oh, so many... Um, samples here so just bear with me a second as I get them all together so this stencil itself can be used in so so many ways um, so like this actually this piece here is one of the stencils and then this is another stencil but the the, the um, stems in the background are the the evergreen stems this was actually done by Celise M McLaughlin she sent me a picture of what she's done because she got some stencils early because she um, was on the creative team. Um, let me see, let me show you some other examples of that particular stencil that I think you will love. So here's again holly and berries. I mean this stencil here is so versatile. I, I love, love it. And I design all the stencils as to how I would use them or what I am needing or wanting to be able to create quickly. So this is the holly and berry stencil. This is the deer stencil. This is the uh, tis the season stencil. So just here, here again, the holly and berries stencil. This is the poinsettia stencil, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I think that, oh, Holly's and Berry's stencil in this one. Oh, so cute. All right. I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This, of course, is the um, barn. And I, again, I create these stencils so that they can be your guide, so that you don't have to sketch everything out. You can use just the middle part. You can use just a half a part of it. Um, but you've immediately got your sketch of your barn and then you can go to work painting in and doing all of the fun stuff. Uh, I just love it. So that's the big barn. And then I've got smaller barns too. And here's the poinsettia, the poinsettia um, stencil. Love, love, love. These are the holly and berries. Poinsettia, love that stencil. So much fun. Oh, that, I'm not going to get to that one ju just yet. Let me put these aside really quick. We'll get to those in a second. Oh, for the love. <clears throat> I'm trying to hurry. The deer stencil, which is, oh, I've got another example that I need to grab for you real quick. Okay, so here is another example, and I use the deer stencil. Love the deer stencil. I use that also in um, this one. So many fun examples, so much fun. Okay, so deer, and then here's all the different words. Um, and so, Believe in the magic, that's that one. Um, let me see here. Um, let it snow. This was actually done by Celeste as well. Um, there's a couple. Where? Oh. Baby, it's cold outside. These are all ones that I've done just to kind of experiment. This was not a good experiment, but that's joy to the world. And then um, believe, this is Christmas cards. Look at this. 
How cute is that? So that's a tree. That's another stencil, the present stencil and joyful, which is this. So, so many fun options. And then this one, of course, is, um, I, it was the big one that I did. This one. And I, oh, so cute. And you can take just bits and pieces of it or use the whole thing like I did. Okay, so. Um, let's see, the trees stencil. So you get four different trees, plus you get the masks, so you can do sprays with them if you want. Present stencil, which I made small, medium, and large, and I did a large, let's see. Oh, I didn't do that one yet. I was going to do a one that had large presents, just like either that or a tag, which I'll be doing examples of this week. The ornaments. Ah, oh, yes. So they are... Um, the stencil itself, the outline of the ornament, and then the mask itself. So you can use them with sprays, and the detail is unbelievable on these. So let me, they're right behind me, for the love. So this has got gold in it. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. So lots of options there. We're going to go over all of that. Um, fun experiment this week, playing with the stencils. Um, the light stencil. Oh yeah, this one's a really cute one. So you saw the one that Celise did. Look at how cute. So this is the last year's Christmas stencil, the deer stencil, I think. Um, I use that and then, oh, so cute. Cuteness. Cuteness abounds and the candles. There's so many. I haven't done all of that I want to do with um, the candles, but oh yeah, so much. But that's these right here. Look at how gorgeous those are. And then um, I wanted to bring back the truck. So that farmhouse truck that I did for a fall launch, look at how cute that is. So I did a tree in the back with the tree stencil, or I did presents in the back. Cuteness. This is the block font stencil. Then I've got, um, I've got, so these are these ones. I've got some just pattern stencils. So I took the Mediterraneans and shrunk them down to minis. So these are all the Mediterranean designs. Then I've got mosaics. So they're the larger um, mosaics you can use, which I love. I love, th this is one of my favorite patterns. And then I've got the mosaic minis. And I actually used that in the background here and we'll be doing an example of these in a for a background. <sighs> Simply gorgeous. So, and then I've got a numbers jumble because you know me, I love numbers. So there's a few like regular stencils that are not particularly holiday, but I was wanting and needing for my uh, practice. So I think all in all, there are 15 new stencils and we are gonna play with them all week long and have some fun playing with those. So. Uh, barn and trees are on sale this week and then you can get all the rest um, too this week um, before they sell out because they went the fall stencils went so fast we were having to restock um, constantly it took us a bit of time but we did it so that is it my loves for this Sunday inspiration I know nothing meaningful and deep I just wanted to show you the new stencils in action and let you know that all week long I'm going to be doing some um, compact videos live um, no voiceover just uh, actually maybe one or two voiceovers I've already got a couple done um, and then actual f real live um, um, working with the stencils and showing you how I do things or how I put the cards together or different projects so um i hope your sunday is awesome i hope it's peaceful like this ah oh, doesn't this look so peaceful um and i hope that you always always know that you are loved <laughs>